Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about how we can eliminate empty productions from a given grammar. Now, what are the empty productions? Productions of a context-free grammar of the form A drives empty string are empty productions. If there is empty string in a language of a grammar then grammar must have empty productions but if the language of grammar doesn't have empty string we can remove empty productions from that grammar Now suppose there is a grammar G defined by quadruple V, T, P, S. V is the set of variables, T is the set of terminals, P is the set of productions and S is the start symbol. Now we have to remove empty productions from this grammar G. Let the grammar which we get after removing the empty productions from grammar G is G2. Right. If the language of grammar G contains empty string, right, then the language of G2 will contain all strings of the language of G except empty string. If the language of G does not contain empty string, then the language of grammar G2 will be same as the language of grammar G. Now, there is an algorithm to, remo to remove empty productions from a given grammar G which is defined by the quadruple VTPS where V is the set of variables, T is the set of terminals, P is the set of production rules and S is the start symbol. What we have to do? To remove empty productions from a given grammar G. First of all, we will find all nullable variables in grammar G. Now how we can find nullable variables? This we have studied in previous tutorial. After this, make a new set P2 and add productions to it as follows. We have to check each production of set P, right, to add productions in set P2. Now, if uh, there is a production A drives x1, x2, x3 up to xn in set P, right, now if none of the symbols x1, x2, x3 up to xn is nullable, right? Then add this production to set P2 as it is. Now, if there are some nullable variables in the string x1, x2, x3 up to xn. Then add this production to set p2 along with every production which is obtained by deleting one or more nullable variables from the right hand side of production in all possible combinations. For example,
if there is a production in P, A derives B, C, Z, where B and C are nullable variables, then we will add production A derives B, C, Z to Z, P2. Along with this production, we will add other productions also to Z, P2. Now, B and C are nullable variables. So, see this production, A drives Z. We have got this production by removing both nullable variables B and C from the right hand side of the production. So, this production will also be added to Z P2. Now, see this production, A drives B Z. We have obtained this production by removing the nullable variable C from the right hand side of this production. So, this production A drives B Z will also be added to Z P2. Now, see this production A drives C Z. We have obtained this production by removing the nullable variable B from the right hand side of this production, right? So this production A drive CZ will also be added to the set P2. Now if uh, all symbols X1, X2, X3 up to Xn are all nullable variables in the production A drives x1, x2, x3 up to xn in z p. Then what will we do? We will add this production a drives x1, x2, x3 up to xn to z p2 along with every production which is obtained by removing one or more but not all nullable variables from the right hand side of the production in all possible combinations for example if for example there is a production a drives bc in set p where b and c are nullable variables then add this production a drives bc to set p2 now, see this production, A drives P. It is obtained by removing the nullable variable C from the right hand side of this production. So, this production, A drives P, will also be added to set P2. Now, see this production, A drives C. It is obtained by removing the nullable variable B from the right hand side of this production, A drives PC. So this production A drive C will also be added to set P2. Don't add any empty production of set P in set P2. Now in grammar G, replace the set of productions P by set of productions P2. We will get a new grammar. That is G2, which is defined by the quadruple V, T, P2, S. Right. Now, G2 is the required grammar, which is obtained by removing empty productions from grammar G. Now, now suppose there is a grammar G defined by the quadruple V, T, P, S. V is the set of variables, T is the set of terminals, P is the set of productions and S is a start symbol. Now, set P has following productions. S drives A, C, B, P, A drives B, C, B drives B, B drives empty string, C drives D, C drives empty string, D drives D. Right. P is the set of these productions. Now what we have to do, we have to eliminate empty productions 
from the set P of this grammar G. So first of all we will find nullable variables. Now see these productions. How to find nullable variables? This I have taught you in previous tutorial. So in this grammar there are the productions B drives empty string, C drives empty string and A drives BC. So A, B and C are nullable variables. Now after this make a new set P2. Right. Now process each production of set P to add production rules to set P2. First of all see this production rule as drives A, C, B, B. In this production right hand side of this production contains three nullable variables A, B and C. So what we will do we will add this production to set P2 along with the all other productions which are obtained by deleting one or more nullable variables from the right hand side of this production in any combination. So we will add this production to set P2. Now we have to add some other productions also which is which will be obtained by deleting nullable variables from right hand side of this production in any combination. So when I delete A, I will get C, B, B, right? From uh, right hand side of this production, I have deleted A. So I got this production. So it will also be added to set P2. Now I have deleted B from the right hand side of this production. Then I will get as drives A, C, B. So this production will also be added to set P2, right? Now delete C from the right hand side of this production. Then we will get the production as drives A, B, B. Right? Now delete A, C, B, all three nullable variables from the right hand side of the production. Then we will get as drives B. So it will also be added to the set P. Right? Now delete Nullable variables A and C as drives PP. We will get this production as drives PP. So add it to set P2. Now delete A, B. Then we will get as drives CB. So it will also be added to this production will also be added to set P2. Right? Now delete the nullable variables. B and C from the right hand side of this production. So when we delete the nullable variables BC from the right hand side of this production, we get the production as drives AB. So add this production to set P2. So what we have to do, we have to add these productions to set P2. Now see another production A drives PC. Here B and C are nullable variables. So this production will be added to set P2 along with all other productions which will be obtained by deleting one or more nullable variables but not all nullable variables from the right hand side of this production. So when we delete B, we will get A drive C. So this production will be added to set P2. When we delete C, we will get A drive B. This production. So this will also be added to set P2 along with this production A drives PC. Now since uh, B and C are both nullable variables, 
right but we cannot remove both of them from the right hand side of this production right now after this there is a production rule b drives b now right hand side of this production does not contain any nullable variable so it will be added as it is to the set p2 now see this and see this production now these two production do not have any nullable variable at the right hand side of them so in these two productions there is no nullable variables at the right hand side so they will be added as it is to the set p2 now there are production now see the productions p drives empty string and c drives empty string these are empty productions so these productions p drives empty string and c drives empty string they will not be added to set p2